Hi guys, it's Greg Hung from ChicVoyageProductions.com. I created this video because I think creating uh, or sharpening your footage on Final Cut Pro X is too confusing and it's still too confusing even if you do a Google search to look for the answers. So here's the answer. The uh, out of the box I haven't been able to find a way to sharpen your footage which if you shoot straight from a Canon SLR or you apply any of the um, Technicolor color profiles you're going to need to sharpen it to get the most out of your camera or maybe you just prefer to sharpen your footage. Let's take a look at a clip here that's not sharpened. Okay and I'm going to show you a sharpening filter that I've created. So if we apply this, just drag and drop, you can see here the difference. Sharpened, not sharpened, sharpened. Okay, now I'm going to show you how you can do this on your Final Cut Pro X. Okay, so when you buy the sharpening package from me, this is what you're going to get. You're going to get three different folders. I've tried to make this as simple as possible for you. In order to apply the solution, you're going to need uh, another software called Motion 5. And if you're going to be doing video editing on Final Cut Pro X, this is like a must-have uh, complement software to Final Cut Pro. And uh, so this is it, Motion here. But once you've opened up the package, I'm just going to show you how you can apply it. So you're just going to open up another finder window. And you're going to want to go to movies, motion templates. Okay. And then uh, you can go into the motion 5 folder. So what we're going to do is apply the sharp medium. So we're just going to copy this folder that I provided you and then paste it right in there. And then we're going to go into the sharp medium folder, double click on this file. That's going to open up motion 5. Now, sure you can modify this file if you want, but to keep this simple, all you would need to do from here is just to do a file save as. Now you can select a category or just use an existing category. I've already created a new category called Motion 5. But just for the sake of this demo, I'm going to create a new category and I'll call it Sharpen. And this one is, oops. And this one is sharp medium. So we're going to go ahead and publish that out. So what that has done, if we go to Final Cut Pro X, is when you go to the effects, which is uh, over here. If you don't see this, you can click on that icon to open it up. So these are all the video effects. Now remember I just created the sharpen category. Well, there it is, and there's the sharpening filter. So all you would need to do to apply this is to drag this over to that video clip. And now you can see the sharpening applied to that video clip. Now, if you want to take that off, you see you can take it off, and you can. S if you look at the Trio Cafe text in the area just over here, you can see the difference that this filter makes. Off and on. Okay, maybe you think that this is a little too sharp. So I'm going to show you how to apply a more subtle sharp fil sharpening filter that I've created for you. 
Now we can copy the sharp subtle folder and we're just going to go through the same process here. I'm just going to back out to the motion 5 folder and then paste it. Okay, done. So we're just going to repeat the same process. I'm going to open this up in motion 5. File, save as. Go to sharpen and then I'm going to name this sharp subtle and then publish okay now let's go to Final Cut Pro okay now we're gonna just apply the sharp subtle okay let's take off sharp medium Okay, let's take a look at Trio Cafe over here. Okay, no filter. And then, okay, so that's how we can add the sharpening filter to a video clip in Final Cut Pro X. And I'll just cover one more thing. In a video project, you're going to be doing more than one video clip. All right. So I'm just going to show you how you can apply this to more than one clip. So before we do that, I'm just going to delete all the sharpening. Okay. And okay. So we create a compound clip by highlighting both clips, right-clicking, new compound clip. Now that we have a compound clip, we can apply one of these sharpening filters to both of these clips at the same time. Just like that. Okay, just gonna run through a preview. Okay, now it's gonna switch to the other clip. Alright, and if you want to turn it off, you can just unclick there. Alright guys, hope you enjoy this tutorial and um, I'll send the link to the sharpening filter package if you're interested in doing this for your Final Cut Pro X.